So here we go, right at 6 o'clock on a Thursday night in Wilson, North Carolina from Truist Stadium. Huggins prepares, make sure that everyone is set. They are. Kickoff is a squib up the middle off the foot of Huggins. We're off and away on a Thursday night from Truist Stadium here in Wilson, North Carolina. The opening drive of the night for Chowan will start at the 30 yard line for the Hawks on the return was Tyler Hayes and here comes Chawan Damian seven and four last season but so many players hit the transfer portal new head coach in other words there's a whole lot new in Murfreesboro third and five from the 44 for Chawan here is McKee running McKee firing has a man that one is intercepted intercepted at the five yard line by Barton, and the pick for the Bulldogs comes out close to the 40. Mike Webb able to get the INT, and it's a takeaway on the first drive of the night for Chawan by Barton's defense. Well, you know, so often you, you just see how Jordan Terrell can, can break open those kind of yards, and it's no surprise whenever he does uh, break away. He is a constant touchdown threat. He got six yards, so it's second and four here at the – 43-yard line. A moment ago, we saw that interception by Mike Webb. He had two picks last year. He's already halfway there here in 2023, not even a minute or so in. Here's Terrell. Terrell still up. Look at that extra foot movement, that extra motivation to get past midfield. That's a first down for Barton. Gain of three last time for Terrell. First drive of the night. Spurred on by that Mike Webb interception on Chowan's first drive of the night. Here's Lynch. He's looking. Jaquan Lynch, some of the best legs in the South Atlantic Conference. He stays up. Lynch tripped up inside the 15-yard line down at the 14. All about those guys up front, too. Hester was quick to give them some credit to pave the way. Here goes Jaquan Lynch. He'll keep, and Lynch is going to walk in. For the first score of 2023 for Barton, it's Lynch, a nine-yard scramble. Six-nothing Barton early. Barton again could get the ball offensively and do what Barton does. That's Cameron Johnson who's out there to return for Barton. Chawan ready to punt. Patrick Talbot end over in to Jay Johnson, who's backed up at the 25, finds some blocking. Cameron Johnson, past midfield, what a return. He started at the 25, he got double that yardage to bring the ball out, if not into Chowan territory, right to midfield. A dangerous return man. Electric. Pastor, he was a little concerned about special teams coming into the uh, to this Thursday night, but so far it's looked good. Here's Jordan Terrell still going. Terrell, one tackle to break. Jordan Terrell is down at the goal line. He comes up maybe a yard short, almost busted it for 49 full to the end zone. A 48-yard rush just short of the end zone for Terrell. And that is the bread and butter of that run game for Barton. Jordan Terrell. Are they keeping tackle. this with Lynch, Damien? Yes. It is Jaquan Lynch with the quarterback keep over the top for the touchdown. He's got both of them tonight. What number zero? He's got two touchdowns tonight for Barton. After the long run by Jordan Terrell. For Jaquan, a lot of Niger peoples last season. Woods new to the team. Here's McKee. He will air it deep. And it's intercepted on the near side by Barton. That's another pick, and it's Mike Webb again. And who, everything comes in pairs tonight. Lynch has both touchdowns. Mike Webb has both picks. And, yes, it has been confirmed. It's a clean interception at the seven-yard line on the near side by Mike Webb. Chip Hester said his guys, his team was ready to play tonight. They were tired of beating each other up in those practices. Handoff, Terrell, here he goes from the 18th yard line. He's still up. He gets down to the 40 yard line on a gain of 22 yards. That probably should have been 15. Terrell's legs gave him an extra seven yards. First year head coach Paul Johnson for show on. He's, this is his first season as a head coach. He's had a lot of coaching experience. McKee goes down. He got sacked. The ball's out as well. Barton picks it up. 
And that's a touchdown. As, who, as we were running our mouth. Who ultimately had it for Barton, I think, coming up with a loose ball in the end zone for the touchdown was Alex Gouda. Of course, Gouda comes up with it, runs it in. That play a moment ago, Damien, it was McKee under pressure. He tried to get out of the sack. Time ran out, and then Gouda came up with a loose football for the fumble six. The Bulldogs. So that'll back Huggins up five yards, so now he'll take this extra point from the 15, so a 25-yard extra point try. Shouldn't matter too much to Huggins. Waiting on that clean catch and hold by Flippin. And the extra point is good. Bear Huggins, perfect tonight. Barton's perfect so far, leading 21 to nothing. They've run it in on offense twice. They've scooped and scored once, up by three scores on Flow Sports. Third and four from the 23. McKee, pressure all in his face. Mike Webb batted it down, and it's incomplete, and it's fourth down. What hasn't Mike Webb done so far tonight? He almost had his third interception right there. Mike who? Mike Webb. That's who went possibly throw a pass down the field. Terrell directly behind Lynch. He has the play fake, gets it off quick to Johnson, who scurries to midfield. He stays up, and he's still going. He got out of that tackle. They almost tore off his jersey. Cameron Johnson inside of the 35-yard line, flips the field for Barton. I can't explain it, Damien. Every time you thought he was down, he popped back up. Well, Johnson runs. Jawan comes in unblocked. Lynch gets it out quickly to Johnson, and Johnson does the rest. One in motion. Johnson has 26 yards. He had 22 of them on that last play. Here's Jaquan Lynch. Stays up. Lynch down to the 15-yard line. Picks up a gain of 18 on the scramble. So that will bring out the field goal unit here for Barton. Get another chance to... Check out Huggins. He splits them. It's been perfect tonight. Absolutely perfect. A field goal along with three extra points. 24 to nothing. Barton. Just under nine to go in the second on Flow Sports. Bradley, didn't he make the board game? It was a baseball player. Right. No Uh-oh. Sack. Time runs out for McKee. Barton brought the pressure with the sack, and in was Chandler again. Milton Chandler, second big play defensively for Barton. He does it again with the sack, and it's fourth down. Something about the Miltons. A week one action. There's a look as well, Damien, at Parker's Barbecue, and I saw Pelican Snowballs out there on the concourse. Needless to say, as they always say, plenty of great food options for all the fans who have gathered here tonight. I'm getting, getting hungry, getting hungry. Second half, first and 10 from the 47 for Barton. Two minutes almost gone by since intermission. Here's Lynch, pumps it, flings it deep, and pulled in. One-handed catch on the far side, and it's who else but Jay. Cameron Jay Johnson, one-handed, the best there is. Yeah, Cameron Johnson, actually, that's a routine play. I saw him working on that one-handed left-hand catch on the sideline prior to the game. So that's a... A testament to all the young players. Practice what you want to play like. Big time grab there by Cam Johnson. 32-yard pickup by Johnson, who made it happen. That puts him at 61 yards receiving on his fifth catch of the night, and that has Barton down to the 15-yard line, first and 10. Here's Bear Huggins. He's perfect tonight with his extra points and his field goals. Can he stay perfect Yes, dials up another field goal, 27 to nothing. So Barton doesn't come away empty-handed on this drive. Not a touchdown, but they increase their lead, 27 to nothing. Just over nine to go in the third on Flow Sports. Hawks are going to roll the dice here on fourth. Yeah, Desmond Johnson, 6'3", 260, redshirt sophomore from Darby, Pennsylvania, coming in to spell McKee, who's 6'2", 210. So more size. Fourth and two from the 33. Hawks going for it. Here goes Johnson up ahead, trying to lean. Did he get it? 
or is he a yard short? It's going to be close. I don't think that Jawan got it. It's Barton football turnover on downs. As almost that time, it was kind of like with Desmond Johnson, Damian, at 6'3", kind of like Scott Mitchell back in the old Detroit Lions days. Big, big quarterback, a lot of size. Bring him in. Let him really just lean his way ahead. But he didn't quite have enough to get that first down. Jordan Terrell, the player that Chip Hester thinks can play on the next level. He's that good. Zing to the end zone. Touchdown as Link surveyed found Cameron Johnson. His first touchdown of the season. Barton's going to add another score. Going to go up 33 zip as Johnson, that favorite target of Lynch. That's a zing and a score. Johnson last season had five of them receiving, over 560 yards. He adds his first of the season here tonight on the opening night of 2023. Here's Bear Huggins. Clean hold from flipping. Huggins hasn't put anything wrong tonight. 34 to nothing Barton, nor had the Bulldogs. Perfect tonight, just over five to play in the third on a Thursday night on Flow Sports. You know, he, Jordan Terrell had a pretty light spring. They don't tackle him a whole lot in the spring, as Chip Hester joked about with us. So he's pretty fresh. Nice offseason to rest up, get ready for 2023. Barton takes it here from the 26-yard line, giving it to Terrell again. Now he's got a gain of 15 to tack it on to that last gain. So he's uh, he's ripping here. Another first down. More Jordan Terrell for Barton. Exactly. Right. <laughs> it's like a difference of 30 years. He's talking years. about Burt. Burt Reynolds. Fourth and eight. Oh! Bama had it in his hands, and he jumbled it and lost it. Now Bama's locked up here with uh, Kamari Carey. And Carey has to be surrounded by his own teammates, and then we got some other Barton players in there. Boy, Carey and Bama, they kind of got together there. First and 10 after that penalty for Chawan from the 47, so a couple yards shy of midfield. McKee dropping. Got pressure. McKee gets sacked. Time runs out. Barton brought the pressure. Keno Jones coming in. Keno, like a Vegas player. He Keno, pulls the lever. Keno dialed up the blitz there. McKee dropping, looking. He finds a target and it's pulled in. If that's a completed catch, that's a first down. It is. Big fourth down pick up there, McKee. Caught by Jayon Russell for the first down, and the Hawks going to move the sticks on the far side. Yeah, Russell just got to the sticks, put his foot in the ground. Rashad McKee, one goes in motion. That's Holloway. McKee dropping, pressure coming. McKee gets out. He scurries. Now he fires, and it's incomplete. He had his target, Russell. Turnover on downs, Chowan. And McKee had a lot of green. Bama a moment ago, he got his fourth carry of the game for 29 yards. They're going to leave him in here. Third and five from the seven. Flippin gives to Patterson. Oh, no, check that. Flippin's going to keep, and Tyler Flippin faked everybody out. He gets in for the touchdown, putting on his best. Jaquan Lynch impersonation. That's Tyler Flippin, the starter from late last season, coming in late to run it in and run it up. 40 nothing. Barton on a Thursday night opener. Well, this is it right here. McKee faking that little toss again. He's done that a number of times tonight, but that's it. That's the last play of the game. Barton wins it. First shutout in the return to football. It took Barton about three and a half years, but in their return to football, they finally have a shutout. 41 to nothing tonight on a Thursday. Bulldogs over the Hawks. And there goes Chip Hester. And you know, they always lead the prayer after each game, no matter the result, Damian. And there was a something that Chip Hester said coming into this week kind of stuck out to me. In fact, he talked about it with uh, with Paul Durham of the Wilson Times. What did he say? He went back and after all these games and practices, Barton is led in a prayer by head coach Chip Hester. Both teams will uh, shake hands, sh uh, show some sportsmanship out there. But one thing that has been preached after each game and practice coming in, Jay Wheeler of Barton has been out there praying for cohesiveness at the end of practices. I think there was a lot of cohesiveness here tonight with Barton, and it shows on the scoreboard, 41 to nothing final. And 
after a 17-3 win last year for Barton on the road in Murfreesboro to come back a year later, 41 to nothing here at home against Chowan. A big statement win for a team that's going to be in the same conference as Barton in a couple years. What a way to start off 2023 for the Bulldogs.